Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I'm talking to you from uh, one of Uteco's plants in Verona, Italy, and in this very facility, the machine that we're going to introduce is being designed, assembled, and tested. This machine is the new Triplex Laminator Horizon 4.0, which in today's case features a 1400 millimeters web width and some other interesting feature that we're going to explain in more detail. My name is Pietro and it's a pleasure to be once again your host for a Uteco machine demonstration as it is a pleasure not being alone doing it. So let me start by introducing the Uteco staff members that are accompanying us on this journey. Right next to me we have Mr. Mario Muchacharo, he is uh, Executive Vice President of Uteco North America. And on my right side I am happy to re-welcome our trusted technicians Simone Rossignoli and Matteo Moscardo. Simone, let's start with you and your introduction, please. Good morning, I'm uh, Simone Rossignoli. I have uh, six years of experience in Uteco about uh, painting a machine and laminating machine. Thank you very much, Simone. Matteo? Good morning, I'm Matteo and I've been working in Uteco for almost 15 years. Thank you very much, Matteo. And last but not least, Mario. Yeah, my name is Mario Muchachar. I'm the Executive Vice President for Uteco North America. I've been with the company for 10 years and I'm uh, happy to be here to explain a little bit more about the horizon. Thank you very much, Mario. So now please explain why Uteco has decided to demonstrate and present this very machine. Well, today we're going to talk about our coating and lamination product line. So, in particular, the high-performance Horizon brand. So, for that, the Horizon brand was developed, really, for the most demanding application. Our customers uh, needed the rigidity, they needed to have the modularity of the machine. So, what we decided to do, the new design is suitable for, to accommodate all these applications that are required from the market, with these, which includes cold seal, PSA, also in register water-based and solvent-based adhesive and lacquers and varnishes. We also are designing the product for multi-layer uh, bond, wet bond and dry bond laminations. So these are the technologies that our clients are looking for today. Uh, the main advantage of this machine is the high speed and also the quick changeover that our customers are requiring and also the low waste, uh, which, is, which can maximize their productivity. So let me just explain a little bit about the machine today uh, so you get a feel of what we're doing today. So I'm just gonna give you some details of the machine that we have behind us, okay? So this machine has been developed or built or designed, if we wanna say, for shaftless or shafted, or this one is built for shafted unwinders, 1,000 millimeter diameters, okay? Automatically, so this splices automatically at maximum speeds and in all the materials that you need. The winders are also equipped with a trolley system uh, that actually uses a wireless technology connection so we know we're interfaced with the unwinders for safety mode. So there's some features that we have on these machines that are pretty, pretty impressive. Also there's four tension zones in this machine using the Corona treaters. And the reason why we use these tension zones is to stabilize low density films and things of that nature. The primary, the primary treater system on the Corona, actually we use that for our reprint application so we can actually go in register with pre-printed material. Uh, so this machine is developed with two rotogravure units that can work in either continuous or registration mode. But what really sets this machine apart is really the state of the art drying system, which is our semi flotation drying system, and our Uteco registration control system. So that's what the machine is all about, Pedro. All right, um, you mentioned the trolleys. So how exactly do these trolleys work? The new trolleys today, uh, first the operator will actually position properly the trolley into the gravure station. From there, there's an automatic engagement system. Uh, that is activated and it actually automatically lifts the trolley into position, okay? This trolley now becomes part of the machine frame, okay? Because of it, and now it becomes a solid piece of structure for the stability, okay? The machine is also equipped with toolless operations uh, for easier and safer and uh, also faster setup for your operators. All of these features equal to many advantages. Many of the advantages is stability of the process, also low, uh, running with low density polyethylenes, and quicker changeovers. All right, sounds cool. Um, 
What other particularly useful or innovative features are worth being mentioned? Well, there's many innovations, uh, so we can't explain it all today, uh, but uh, for the feature of this high-performance Horizon machine, I can give you a couple amazing features that are important to our clients today. Customers are really looking, like I explained before, low waste, so reducing your waste, change over time. And how do we do this? Well, we have a reprint system, uses our Uteco registration and electronic system that actually compares the position of the coding cylinder with a virtual uh, electronic cylinder pulse or a mark on the pre-printed film with the mark on the cylinder that's in the machine. This is done at a very small amount of waste in a very quick time frame. Another uh, innovation that I just wanted to hit upon is the stability of extensible materials, films uh, like LDPE, HDPE with, with our new tension uh, closed loop system today. It includes driving idle rollers uh, throughout the machine, driving the idle rollers also into the uh, dryer tunnels. So there's a lot of innovations that are built into this machine that I can't get into all the details today because we'll be here for quite a long time. Well, that sounds already quite impressive, Murray, but I know that Uteco has implemented this machine with real and true last generation technologies. So what are these last generation technologies? Yeah, I can give you some examples. Uh, some of the examples uh, we have installed the Uteco DVS, which is called the double uh, viewer system, which compares from the back to the front of the material, the web, continuous monitoring and correcting these registrations. This feature allows for easier and faster re registration alignment to the pre-printed material. With Cold Seal, one for the application, it takes less than 15 seconds for the registration control, and you, you can't imagine how fast that is. As you can, uh, some, you can see from another key point of the Dr. Blade group, it's hard to see from this side because it's all closed up today, it's actually installed on the side frame. It's not installed on the trolley, it's installed on the side frame of the coding unit. And it, most of it can be adjusted and precisionly on the height and also the parallel of the cylinder. It also operates at different angles. The setting can be reproduced thanks to the references on the indicator. The group is also equipped with two pneumatic pistons for the blade to make sure we're optimal right against the, the cylinder. We can also have an option to save these settings to make it recipe management in our recipe management system, allow the operator to call that up into uh, the machine so it's a quicker changeover frequency. Talking about another innovation, the Horizon also uses an ex uh, exclusive patent cube system, ventilation system that are built up on the top, which grants the access of performance combining with low noise, which is important today, energy saving, which is something that uh, the, let's say everybody in the world is looking to do, and the best performance. So this machine is equipped with two ventilation systems. So we have one to the left side and one to the right side. Each of these are composed of three zones. Um, and they're separate zones with their own individual burners, but they have some of flotation drying system, which is very important in coating and lamination today. Uh, so we have that. Uh, the dryers are also equipped with driven idle rollers uh, by AC vector motors to ensure web stability. Uh, as I was explaining before, the low density polyethylenes, uh, polypropylenes. And then last, we do have the burners for temperature control, fan recirculation are accessible from the catwalk. So it's nice and easy from the catwalk to get around the machine. Uh, also, it's easier for threading up the material. And we have easy cleaning of the rollers, extracting out the blowers, uh, so all these nozzles are extractable. Now, let's dive even deeper into okay. the configuration of the okay. new Horizon 4.0. Yeah, so uh, let's st uh, start with the coding unit. I think uh, that's an important side of it. It's very important for Uteco to look at the safety part of it also. Uh, for this reason, as you can see from these views, you can see that we have a enclosed PTE to guarantee full operation at safety for, or for our operator safety for the solvent. We have one dedicated for the coding unit and then on the backside, we also want to have a dedicated PTE enclosure 
where you have all your ink tanks and everything else, okay? And that's actually controlled by LEL. So we monitor the solvent in those enclosures for the safety of the operator, the safety of the environment, and then that's all built in. But what's more important, people don't realize, not only the coating stations, the lamination part. The lamination is where you're bringing two materials and you're laminating it. By laminating that, you have to have the stability of the lamination nip. Uh, so the way we do ours, we have actually two steel rollers and then we have a rubber roller. Uh, they're independent, driven by AC motors. So most, uh, let's say the old technology, they had just a nip roller with a roller that went on top of it. What we do, we actually have two steel rollers on top and bottom, so we can guarantee that we have no deflections in the middle. And that gives you better stability and everything else. So um, but besides that, we have the load cells, uh, web controls for lamination. And so it gives me the alignment of that material right with the lamination. So there's quite a bit to talk about. I'm trying to just give you an overview yeah. to make sure we have some things that we can Quite say. comprehensive. Well, it yeah, is, say. it is, very comprehensive. So uh, this is, let's say the, can you call it the standard configuration? Yeah. Are there any options that can be added? Yeah, there's quite a bit of options uh, that you're gonna see on this. You can, well, we don't have them all, but um, for sure, all these machines, the Horizon, can be customized to following our customer needs. Uh, one of the options on just this machine highlights the turning bar. Uh, this turning bar is used for, uh, to turn the web and everything else. If we can take a look, it's right behind us today. Uh, so it gives you the ability to coat on one side or the other. But the multi-purpose machine and with different trolleys for the applications, things that we can do today, we can do PVC, we can do rotogravure, we can do flexo. So we could do reverse roll, solventless. We can also do uh, KISS coating, Meyer bars, and other uh, coating applications. So it's very important, these things, to be diverse, modular, and everything else for our clients. So when they buy these machines, they have the capability in the future to use different trolleys for different coating uh, applications. So it's very important. Mario, before we come to the demonstration, could you please show us the path that the film is following through the machine? Sure, um, since it's such a large machine and walking through it be a little bit more difficulty, I think the best approach probably is for me to show you a detailed drawing of it okay. to give you some more uh, understanding of the process and what we're doing on it. So the best way to do that, I think I'm gonna walk over to here or to the left. I'm gonna show it to you on a monitor and give you a better detail of, a, of the flow of the wet path. How's All right, that? let's do that. Okay, great. Okay, now we're going to come over to the design of the machine. So let's take a look at this web path because it's a little easier to just show you on the screen here today. So we have the primary unwinder, which is a shaftless 1,000 millimeter diameter. Uh, this will actually have a pre-printed material, which is the PET, as we spoke. So it's actually going to be laminated to the back side of the printed material. So as we come through, we're going to arrive to our first coating station. The first coating station of our triplex is the first unit that we're going to use the coating for the lamination. So we're going to apply using a gravure process and we're going to apply the glue, the solvent-based glue on the back side of the PET that's printed. And we're going to use our insetter function. Uh, also, we can use that to make sure we're in register if we need to. As we go through the coating station, the gravure station, we're gonna come back through and we're gonna go into the drying system, which is the semi-flotation. In the drying system, we have three zones for you. So with these three zones, we're gonna dry the adhesive. As we come through to, this, to the lamination nip, we're actually gonna take the secondary unwinder, which is a shaftless design, and we're gonna laminate a met pet with PET. So we're gonna actually put that together and we're gonna laminate these two points. Once that's done, we're gonna come underneath the web path and we're gonna go through a turning bar uh, so we can actually laminate it to the other side. And we're gonna come into the treater, which is another tension zone. So we do have tension zones and I'll probably go through that a little bit later. Then we hit the secondary web path. As we hit the secondary coating unit, we're gonna apply the adhesive to that and we're gonna to go to the four zones on top of there and dry the solvent-based adhesive. As we come to the end of the machine, you're gonna have the third unwinder, which is low-density polyethylene, LDPE. Uh, so we're gonna actually take the LDPE, 
we're gonna laminate it through the lamination part. And this is where I was explaining the nip side of it. That's we actually have two chrome rolls and we have a rubber nip, so we make sure we have any deflections. We're gonna actually laminate the third, third material to this. And then we in the, do the third material, we're gonna wind it on the rewinder, which is a shaftless rewinder. So this whole process, we're gonna actually create a subject which is the gummy bear in a chip bag. It's actually uh, uh, an artwork that we did that has both of it on it. So you have actually three materials that is laminated. PET, MetPET, and LDPE. So there's three of them that we're actually laminating it into it. And we have our tension zones from each area from all these treaters and infeed and intermediate groups. So this is the web path. And from here, we're gonna start running the machine. Well, thank you very much, Mario. Now, I would say enough talking, and if the machine is ready, we should start with the demonstration, shall we? Yeah, I think that'd be great. Well, Mario, what are we going to see during this demonstration? Yeah, so let's talk about what we're gonna run on this amazing machine today. We're gonna actually run a Wrigley Gummy Bear job. Uh, so you'll see a printed material on the back side. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do a triplex. A triplex is uh, actually taking three materials together, so we'll have three laminated products together on a printed web. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna take a 48 gauge, which is 12 microns, uh, PET, which is a polyester. It's actually printed, and we're gonna laminate a MET PET with that, okay, metalized. So we're gonna actually gonna put the adhesive on the metalized side. We're gonna laminate the PET with that product in the first station. Once that's done, it goes through the semi-flexion dryer. Then it'll go into the second gravure station. With that, we're gonna actually put a secondary adhesive and we're gonna laminate low density polyethylene, which is very important for us today. It's probably about uh, 50 microns around that number right now, and we're gonna laminate that. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And then in the results, basically it's PET, laminate to a metalized PET to a low density polyethylene. Okay, sounds interesting. And we all can't wait to see the machine in action. Unwinder number one is a pre-printed material that is applying the glue from the first station. Now we are at the first coating unit. The first coating unit we will be applying the solvent adhesive to the PET. Now we arrive to unwinder number two, where we have the 48 gauge metalized PET. Here you can see we have the lamination unit, where the two materials are being laminated. Now we're at unit number two, we're applying the adhesive to the back side of the mat pad. So on the two substrates that have been already laminated. Now we're at unwinder number three, where we have the low density polyethylene that will be used to laminate to the two substrates that we pre prior laminated. Second lamination part, which we're laminating the two structures, which is the METPET, PET, to the LDPE. Here, we are at the rewinder section, where it's a fully automated system for the final product. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much, Matteo and the Simone, for the demonstration. Mario, quite an impressive machine. But what if I would ask you to give me three words to describe the main advantages of Horizon 4.0 for your customers? Which ones would you choose? Three words. 
That's a tough question, actually. Okay, there's no. so many words that I can use for this machine because it's so powerful, high performance. But if I had to think about that, the three words that I would put to this machine, I'd probably say performance is one. Number two is versatility because of all the trolleys and everything else that we use it. So it's for a lot of application. And probably the last one, I would say robust design, and, okay. and which are probably the three things most of our clients are looking for today. I wish I was four words. Yeah, it was, but I, I tried to limit myself <laughs> as much as possible. So versatility, yep. performance, and robustness, okay? Pretty much it is. So we have also learned that this machine is particularly user-friendly, but could we also say that the Horizon 4.0 is environment-friendly too? Yeah, that's a key word in today's market. You know, I mean, everybody's asking for it. Uh, these two words, environmentally friendly, user friendly, it became a standard in Uteco's product range today and our development of products. Uh, at Uteco, we're constantly looking at the uh, reduction of greenhouse emissions, such as uh, CO2s. And how do we really do that today? I mean, we have a patent cube system, uh, which is designed part of our ventilation site, designed to evaporate solvent from the adhesives. Uh, so it's really important. And this cube system, this patent design that we have today, reduces uh, fuel consumption almost by 20 to 30 percent, which is a great savings, but it minimizes the emissions of the heat into the environment. Also increase uh, efficiencies uh, for recirculation because we use LEL total controls of our sensors. So there's quite a bit. Another one is our drive system that has high efficiency, which is using uh, less consumption of electricity, which incorporates actually a regen system. And what do I mean by that? It's actually using unused energy and power and putting into the central electrical power system into the machine. Similar to a windmill, as you see out in the fields, they actually generate and add power to the electrical power network. Um, there's other two more things that we actually do for the environment. Um, one thing that's very important, another one is the topic of consumption of plastic, which is uh, environmentally friendly that people are trying to do. All the major world converters are looking in every way possible to create lighter packages by using a lightweight or gauge film materials, okay? Uh, the Horizon has been designed uh, for that use, for the characteristic, the versatility, managing those increasing thin films, okay? Uh, to be, be in compliance and technology in the character of the final product. So those are the major ones for the environmentally friendly things that we're working on today. One last question for you, Mario. What other services or products is Uteco offering to their customers? Yeah, so I want to talk about the array of services. We have services and new other products. So I want to kind of just mention other things besides the coding side of the business. Uh, for the array of products, let's say services, we can imp uh, actually offer to our clients process improvements. We can also offer preventive maintenances, training programs. So there's a lot of things that we can offer that's besides the machine. But I also wanted to let everybody know there's other products that we offer at Uteco today. Uh, so like our high performance, flexopress, downstream units. Uh, we can use anything from UV, EB, water-based and solvent-based processes. We have coating and laminations, as you see one of the examples here. But we have wax machines, we have embossings. So we can do quite a bit of tailoring for these machines and application. And but last but least that I wanted to mention today are wide web, high-speed digital platforms. So those are platforms and also services we can supply to our clients. Mario, thank you very much for being with us and for illustrating the many advantages and features of Horizon 4.0. Thank you for being here for us. It was a pleasure. Hopefully, uh, everybody who's at this webinar had got a lot of information out of it. And thank you for attending this webinar. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. Should you have any questions, then feel free to contact our experts at utecovr at uteco.com. It's utecovr at uteco.com. My name is Pietro, it's been a pleasure being your host for this presentation and I see you at the next Uteco presentation. Thank you very much, bye bye and ciao from Verona, Italy.